That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. What a stupid son of a bitch. Stupid son of a bitch. Uh, my reaction, Sean, was delayed because, as you can see in that clip, the Biden staff were ushering us out. They were telling us, OK, thank you. Time to go. And you can see right there uh, people are just starting to move towards the door, myself included. It wasn't until we went to the basement and then outside and then back to the press room that somebody said, hey, did you hear what the president said about you? Within about an hour of that exchange, he called my cell phone. And uh, he said, it's nothing personal, pal. We went back and forth and I made sure to tell him that I'm always gonna try to ask something different than what everybody else is asking. And uh, he said, you've got to. And that's a quote from the president, so I'll keep doing it. Did he apologize? Uh, he cleared the air and I appreciated it. We had a nice call. I, I don't need anybody to apologize to me. Uh, he can call me whatever he wants as long as it gets him talking. You always ask me the nicest questions. I, None of them make a lot of sense to me, but I... I well, let's, let's try... Fire away. Come a on. A new year. Uh, why are you trying so hard in your first year to pull the country so far to the left? Well, I'm not. I, uh, you guys have been trying to convince me that uh, I am... Uh, um, Bernie Sanders. I'm not. I like him, but I'm not Bernie Sanders. I'm not a socialist. Just a question. Are you, you going to be first of all, Mr. President? Uh, your voice sounds a little different. Are you okay? I'm okay. I have a test every day to see a COVID test. I have it checking for all the strands. What I have is a one and a half year old grandson who had a cold who likes to kiss his pop. Mr. President, what you talking about? Your food about you. <laughs> If you are fully vaccinated, you no longer need to wear a mask. And it seems like I have to say if you're fully vaccinated in an area where we do not have well, let me clarify. In May, you made it sound like a vaccine was the ticket to losing the mask forever. And it that, that is true at the time. This ought to be good. I, I, I think so too. Uh, about the way forward, Mr. President. As you were leaving for your overseas trip, there were reports that were surfacing that your administration is planning to pay illegal immigrants who are separated from their families at the border up to $450,000 each, possibly a million dollars per family. Do you think that that might incentivize more people to come over illegally? If you guys keep sending that garbage out, yeah, but it's not true. So this is a garbage report? Yeah. Okay, so $450,000 $450, per person. Is that what you're saying? That was separated from a family member at the border under, under the last administration. That's not going to happen. Time for one more, Mr. President. If you're not asking me a mean one like you usually do. <laughs> it's something interesting, I think, that is not going to happen. Uh, President Obama says that there is footage and uh, records of objects in the skies, these unidentified aerial phenomenon. And he says, we don't know exactly what they are. What do you think that it is? I would ask him again. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Come on, Walt, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Let me take the one question from the most interesting guy that I know in the press. That's you. Mr. President, there had not been a U.S. service member killed in combat in Afghanistan since February of 2020. Now 12 Marines are dead. You said the buck stops with you. Do you bear any responsibility for the way that things have unfolded in the last two weeks? I bear responsibility for fundamentally all that's happened. 